Hello everyone, welcome to another post of my video blog at webmastervideoschool.com and in this post I want to talk about fonts in uh, websites. As you should know, if you want to add a new font to your website, probably your visitors will not be able to see this font because it is not installed on their operating system. So we have this wonderful website, Facelift, uh, which uh, is replacing our fonts with some kinds of uh, images and is allowing us to use just any font we want, even a font we create, uh, we will create by ourselves, and this font will be visible to our visitors, even if it is not installed. Uh, on their system. Okay, basically it's a great way to use a custom-made uh, fonts in our websites. Okay, we can see some examples here. For example, this font, I can see it, but of course it is not installed uh, on my operating system. And as you can see, those are basically pictures, uh, PNG uh, uh, files, uh, that are automatically replaced by the script uh, the, the text is actually replaced by those images and still uh, uh, search engines can understand uh, this text because it will uh, still appear at the HTML code. Okay, let's go to see some examples. We can see some nice examples here. Okay, for example, this spice it up text, and we can see some nice uh, fonts here, and we will create something like this in the in the current post. Okay, here is my final result, and I will explain you how to achieve this result now. Let's go to the download page. And let's download this file. Uh, basically, it's a, a zip uh, file. I already downloaded it. Here it is. Okay, we have some fonts here in the fonts folder. TTF is uh, actually a font file. Okay, and we have some uh, other files here. Let's go to my FTP client, and I just uploaded uh, the content of this uh, zip file to a new folder called font on my web server. Okay, you can see it here. And now let's go to my HTML editor. And this is a typical page where I want to use uh, this, uh, this nice uh, font technique. Uh, first of all, inside my head tag, I'm including this uh, JavaScript file. Of course, the location is inside the font folder. And we must uh, show the location here. Then I'm just using a regular H1 tag for my heading. And now I'm uh, using uh, another JavaScript uh, script which is located just before the closing of the body tag. Okay, here I, uh, I just show the, uh, the location again. And then I'm using uh, the syntax. Of course, I will attach it uh, to this post in my website. And now I am replacing all the h1 tags uh, in my uh, in my file. Okay, I am telling the JavaScript to replace h1 with this uh, font. Okay, and then the final result uh, is achieved uh, here. Okay, here it. If you want to replace some other style than the H1, you can go to the quick start uh, guide on this website and see how to uh, replace uh, other styles or other HTML uh, elements. And this is basically the final results. Let's take a look at the uh, source code. Okay, we have our regular H1 and then we have and the JavaScript code. As you can see, our text is still here, although it is replaced in the final view by images, but the search engines can just uh, see our, uh, our text as regular text, and this is very important for us as web designers. And uh, another thing I want to show you is how to add some new fonts uh, to, this, uh, to this style. 
uh, or to this technique let's take a look at the font folder which is inside uh, the zip uh, file we just downloaded and inside we have those uh, one two three fonts okay font is a file with TTF extension of course we can uh, buy new fonts or create fonts by ourselves and we will just need to add this font to our uh, fonts folder inside our web browser just to add it uh, here and we will need to make another correction we will need to adjust this config file okay let's uh, let's take a look at this file okay here it is in our editor this is basically a PHP file and inside this file we have the fonts array and the fonts array is including all the names of uh, of the fonts uh, for now we have just three fonts and the actual uh, file name of the font okay if we will uh, for example create a new font called Alex we will need to add here the name the name will be Alex and the name of the f the file name of the font if it is Alex dot TTF then of course we will need to add uh, this Alex dot TTF file to our fonts folder on the server and just uh, save this uh, save this config uh, flare dot PHP uh, file and then we will be able to use and this Alex font here in our script by just by calling and uh, the name of the font and as I said the name of the font will be connected to the actual file name of the font inside this font array which is located inside our config file okay that's uh, that's really simple and you can find uh, much more information and uh, much more cool examples on this uh, facelift website I will attach of course the URL uh, to this blog post that's all for now if you like this video please rate it and you are welcome to subscribe welcome to come back to my blog because I'm uploading at least one uh, at least one new video every day and I hope to meet you again bye bye for now